recording a record is extremely, extremely expensive. Um, <laughs> so that was a huge help in kind of, um, you know, for a long time I, I, I wanted to do a record and just didn't have the funds. Um, so that really uh, made it possible. So. Oh, good yeah. for you. That's, uh, I'm glad they selected you. Definitely was deserved. Um, and that album, uh, the, the name of the show tonight is something that we do, and that is meant to harken back to that album name, which is yeah. something that we did. So, um, however many years ago it was, you've come full circle. You know, I got a little bit of a story to tell about the last time I remember seeing you play, and you may not remember this because you played so many shows, but uh, the last time I saw you in person, not really a story, but it's a fun fact. It is um, the oldest video in my iCloud photo library. So <laughs> it is actually the first video that I ever took on an iPhone. <laughs> that's so amazing. Is that and the one you sent me? Yeah, you played Mimi in the morning. That's fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a while. And you, you were in a band, uh, busy touring quite a bit, and you left the band, and you also hurt your wrist as well. So that's kept you out of the game for a while. How long has it been? <sighs> I I think the last time I played live was five or six years ago. Holy. Um, so it's, it's, it's been a long time. Um, you know, like we kind of talked about, um, I did have, uh, I was touring um, with a band and, and left that band and it, and it kind of um, was a little bit of a sore spot for me. And then, yeah, ended up having surgery on my wrist and that uh, threw another wrench in the, in the mix. And, I think I just, it, it wasn't that I didn't want to play, I just, there were other priorities, you know, um, and I kind of just was really enjoying being a dad and, you know, spend, spending time with family. Um, and I never, you know, I never just, I never really thought about it. It just, just something yeah. that happened. I just hadn't played for so long. And I mean, of course I was, I would, you know, I sit at home and, and, and play, but I wasn't really reaching out to anybody. Um, actually, the, the, uh, about a month ago, I went to an open mic in Lethbridge, which I hadn't done in probably six years, seven years. And um, I didn't even recognize a single musician that got up to play because <laughs> <laughs> I've, been, I've been so out of the yeah, loop, right? So, you're the veteran on the circuit now. I, I guess. I, I mean, you know. Um, well, it's so yeah. cool, man. Like, I know... Uh, we got 18 people here and the word on the street in the chat is there's also 11 Patrucci's watching from one feed. So I guess that brings us up to, to oh, nice. 29, <laughs> 29 <laughs> people watching. That's and awesome. uh, I don't think anybody could tell that you've been off for that long. So that's amazing. I'm, it, it's hard to believe you haven't performed in that long. It's like two or three pandemics ago. Yeah. Well, and I, <laughs> I like we talked about the other day, um, just getting over COVID. So yeah. Um, that kind of threw a wrench in the preparations for this show. Um, I, I'm, show, I'm, I, you know, I'm totally fine. Um, you know, thankfully, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, that, that was last week. So, <laughs> yeah, know, all, all that time you want to, you know, want to spend rehearsing and, and preparing. And then of course I get COVID and I'm sleeping in the basement on the couch <laughs> wa watching endless Netflix movies. So, well, thank goodness you're better. Uh, Joel says glad you're better absolutely um, I guess I you know I think since we're here to hear you play music and you sound great we should probably get on with that and do some more a um, couple things for the audience out there we do have a tipping option um, I'll put in the chat where you can tip you can e-transfer or use PayPal um, it's up to you if you want to and I don't know if Matt even wants a tip so I know he's doing this because he loves it and just want to get the audience involved. So let me know in the chat if you're here for the first time or let me know, actually it'd be great to hear where everybody's from. Uh, turn on your camera if you want, Matt can see you. And so it gives him a little bit of a boost that he knows that you're watching and, and paying attention and you're in his living room with him. And um, that's about it. What do you, let's go to the next song. What do you got? Sure, this is, a, this is an old song um, that I wrote for my wife um, when I met when I met Clara, I was uh, uh, I was playing uh, like a fundraiser uh, Christmas time for the food bank, and she was a server at the restaurant. Anyways, uh, long story short, we talked in my truck till seven in the morning, and I asked her for her number, and she said no. She said <laughs> she said she said give me yours, 
And I said, okay, give me your cell phone. She's like, I don't have one. I was like, okay, give me a pen and paper. She's like, I don't have that either. And uh, so she said, just tell it to me and I'll remember it. And I just rem remember her leaving and going, man, I'm never going to hear from that girl again. <laughs> and <laughs> she ended up calling me like three days later, which, which was uh, very surprising. But anyways, this is kind of a, 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 a song for her. Let's hear it. <laughs> this is called Holding.
Good job, good job. That song had a little bit of a bluesy sound to it. Was that written before she called you back or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> kind of, well, yeah, partially. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got uh, we got 21 people plus 11 Petrucci's. Uh, we got about 32 people. Uh, hello, Petrucci's, by the way, a shout out to the family. Sounds like a family gathering there. Hello, maybe Sergio, Claire, good to not exactly see you, but great to have you here. And uh, also, we got people from all over the place. Edmonton, Red Deer, Vernon, Kelowna, uh, Dustin Bissonette out in Campbell River. So uh, the reach is pretty good here tonight. It's, it's awesome to have this going on and to have you here, Matt. Um, I see all the records behind you. And one of the questions mm -hmm. that came up actually in the chat was, um, what's your favorite song ever? What's the best song ever in your opinion? And maybe, maybe something Ooh. that inspired you or influenced you. Jeez, well, man, I, I I can't really answer that. I there there's there's certain songs for you know certain times in your life and and you know there's I think that everybody has like a band or a song that they can attribute to uh, a moment in time. So you know, for me, I I obviously grew up. Um, was a huge like Wide Mouth Mason fan and then moved on to more acoustic music and a uh, huge Dave Matthews fan. Um, so like there's all these, you know, bands through time. I think right now my favorite um, artist and I think somebody that everybody should know is a guy by the name of Blake Mills. Um, all right. Yeah. So I don't, yeah, it's hard to narrow down a, a favorite just one song, eight. yeah. Um, I really like, uh, I and and was fortunate to meet him, uh, a guy by the name of Gregory Allen Isakoff, who is a, a big, uh, uh, you know, part of our lives and our household. We love listening to him. Um, he has a song called San Louis that uh, my wife and I both absolutely adore, so um, yeah, right on. That's a good answer. Um why don't we take a quick second, since we haven't done this yet, but sure. we're probably all getting a little thirsty and just cheers the fact that we're all here together. Cheers. And we've got Matt Robinson playing for us. Uh, the show's called Something That We Do. I see a few glasses raised in the videos here. Thank you, everybody. And uh, let's get on to another song. What do you want to do next? Um, sure. Uh, this is a song uh, another song I wrote um, kind of right around the time uh, where I was you know kind of struggling to get into the scene and hey there's Dustin um, and uh, <laughs> sorry um, and yeah like just you know being a, a homeowner and struggling through renovations and, and, and things like that um, all the while trying to um, hang on to a, a healthy relationship. Um, you know, like I was telling you, uh, Ken, we, we lived through a, a, a fairly massive renovation. Um, mm -hmm. and, and at one point had, you know, a table saw next to our bed that we used as a, a coat rack when it wasn't being used for, um, rentals. And we had like a one foot wide path from the kitchen to our front door. <laughs> um, oh, wow. so yeah, so this song is kind of um, about that and, and kind of passing each other in the hallways too. Um, my wife and I work opposite schedules, so um, we kind of do that, the high five, you know. Um, and the hand off. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, this is called Constant and Fixed. Better rip, buddy. Up in the 
south side of the bed was cold. Once again, you're up and on your own. You were delicate enough that I never felt you move. Sometimes I feel it unfair that the morning only seems to lie. Thanks very much, everybody. Yeah, so good. Well done, my friend. Well done. You're killing it tonight so far. I love it. <laughs> Thank it's, you. It, I'm just like so happy to have you here and, and everyone else here. I actually see a lot of uh, good, familiar faces. I see, I also see uh, Mark Robinson on here. Hello, Mark. How you doing, man? Cheers. What happened? This is almost... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I, one thing to 
point out is like uh your brother's here supporting you you got a lot of family in in music how like tell us about your family you're quite a musical family right yeah so i mean obviously um my my uh well people won't know this some people anyway but <laughs> my my father uh played and 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 toured for a, a long time um i certainly recall him kind of doing the weekend warrior thing um and uh heading off on the weekends um to uh you know kind of make ends meet um you know, he had my my mother and father had had three boys that were all playing sports, and I think at one time I was, I myself was playing volleyball, soccer, and basketball for both city clubs and school clubs. So, um, yeah, like uh, you know, my dad really, I mean, both my parents did, but I I, I remember my dad kind of heading away on the weekends to play, and um, and then my my older brother, um, he kind of uh was in a band and and lived in victoria for a time and and man i was a huge fan of them uh they were called dogtooth violet actually uh um jill may uh i don't know if yeah. you remember him totally um, yeah yeah uh so yeah and that kind of i was already playing guitar at that time but once my brother started playing in live venues i just i i looked up to him so much um Aww. and uh yeah, so that kind of got me going, um, and so yeah, started playing in and around Prince George, and then uh, moved to Vict uh, Vancouver for a time um, and played in a band there, um, and yeah, um, found my way to Lethbridge, and then that's when things really kind of exploded musically for me. Um, Southern Alberta has a incredible music scene. There are so many talented. Uh, songwriters and bands in Lethbridge it, it blows my mind um so yeah I I got into the community uh fairly quickly and um started making connections and um and that's kind of when I met Leroy Stagger and um you know started opening shows for him and then uh eventually ended up in the band um and recording a record so a lot of good things have happened since I since I moved to uh Lethbridge that's amazing. And for everyone out there, Lethbridge is where Matt calls home. And uh, yeah, it's really interesting to hear what a great music community there is there. Um, I'm curious yeah. what, uh, you know, as a as an online community, as we're trying to build this thing, what would you ask of us as, you know, as participants, as audience members? Like what, what does a performer need these days? Oh, man, that's a really good question. Um... So I, you know, for me, obviously I have a, I'm very fortunate. I have a great day job um, and, and that's how I, I make ends meet. But I have so many friends out there that all they have is their music. Um, and COVID really, really um, killed that. Um, so you, you, you saw a lot of musicians trying to, to um, shift and, and move into online streaming and... Um, you know, um, make money that way. Uh, so, and, and I, I would say a big, a big part of a musician's income is their, is their merch and, um, record sales. So, um, you know, I know there's all these streaming platforms out there, but, um, it really, uh, is a huge help to buy physical copies from artists. Um, buy and, direct and buy, yeah. And, and that's the thing too, is like, you know, if, if we want to have, you know, a vibrant uh, culture in the arts, you, you have to support it or it's just it's just going to go away um, and we'll be left with nothing. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. It's hard enough as it is to be a Canadian musician. You know, you're you're uh, uh, for the for the most part, eight hours from any good gig, you know, so the, the traveling is really tough. Um, not like the U.S. where you can, you, you know, you can throw together a 30-day th uh, uh, tour uh, or 30-show yeah. tour um, in as many dates and, and you're only two-hour drives, you know, away. So, um, yeah, I would just say, like, if, if you enjoy 
somebody that you listen to, um, just support them in any way you can. Um, I know a lot of artists are doing live streaming shows and, 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 um, you know, they'll, they'll have a tip jar or, 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 or something like that. Um, I certainly, um, am not asking for that. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I'll, I'll make that clear. This is this is just pure enjoyment for me. So um, I don't need that. But uh, I would say, well, that, you're yeah. preaching to the choir, man. You, like uh, that's what we're all about on Be Live. And for those of you that don't know, I'm hosting tonight. I'm also the founder of Be Live, and we're we're uh, oh, we're super happy to have uh, everybody here and provide opportunities for people. Joel's saying uh, Matt invites your friends to play. <laughs> What's that? Joel is saying, Matt, invite your friends to play. Um, I will. I will. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, I guess uh, everybody here probably wants to hear some more music, less less me talking. So uh, let's head into that. Uh, cue okay. us up. What do you got? Uh, well, I talked about Blake Mills earlier. Um, yeah. One so of your I'd favorite to, artists right now. Yeah, I'd like to um, play a song of his um, that I think is just, um, I think it's one of my favorites of, of his. Um, I will preface cool. this with saying that there might be some profanity in this one, so uh, uh, if you have children in the okay. room, I'm really sorry. But uh, this song, uh, it's just a, I love this song because he, it's kind of, uh, when you think about relationships and, and you screw up and there's that fear of what your significant other's friends are going to think. Um, and how they're going to react to to the way that you treated them, um, and I think this really puts that into perspective. So uh, this is called "Don't Tell Our Friends About Me." I'm gonna try and muscle my way through it. Work 
could be his buzz But too much confidence in the people you trust All the enemies are friends, well they all tend to judge And I'll write songs that will help me deal with issues I'm sure some people they hear too much But babe, don't tell our friends about me talk too much so please baby don't tell all our friends about me please baby don't tell all our friends about me yes I know Thank you. Sounded great. Sounded great. Everybody, round of applause. We've got Matthew Robinson on the show tonight. This is something that we do on Be Live Music. Uh, so glad to just see you playing again. And I know everyone <laughs> on here is as well. Um, you grew up in Prince George. Yep. And uh, we were just talking about your family a little bit and getting into music. I, I want to just throw like a, a rapid fire of questions, like quick answer okay. um, at you. And then we'll do that real quick and we'll just, I think you got another song for us, maybe a couple more. We'll get into the next song quickly. Um, yep. When did you start playing? Um, I started playing in grade five. Grade five. What about your first gig? When was your first gig? First gig, I was, oh gosh, uh, 14. 14. And uh, yeah. Um, I think it was called Cafe Voltaire. Okay. Think, yeah. Um, and what about first time in a bar? Mom and dad need to go. No. Um, <laughs> uh, I first time in a bar, 17. 16. Okay. Yeah. What bar? The Generator. Nice. I've Actually, I, um, quick story about the Generator. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a huge, or, you know, especially back then, huge wide metal Mason fan. They were playing uh, the generator, and um, I tried to sneak in and couldn't get in. Um, and the generator had a uh, the exit door had a peephole in it, um, but it wasn't like you know a peephole with glass in it. It was just like a straight hole. And if you looked through it from the outside, you could see just the front of the stage. Um, so I stood out there and I watched the whole concert uh, from this peephole um, and could see the, the only time I could see anybody <laughs> was when Sean Barreau came to the microphone to sing and then yeah. he backed up and then I and then I couldn't see anything um, but yeah stood there and watched that whole show through a peephole um, yeah and then try, and then tried to meet them out back um, but they never came out so and it was really cool so cool experience yeah. for you but now you actually have a friendship with Sean right yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of, uh, it happened, I reached out to him uh, to, I wanted to build up my guitar chops um, when I uh, when I was touring um, and thought about taking lessons from him. Um, and I just, it just never came to fruition. But through that, um, we kind of, yeah. Forced that friendship. And, and, okay. and when we were in the, um, uh, we were in the Peak Performance Project, uh, they had um, mentors that that were there 
and uh, like one of them was the, the lead singer from Mother Mother, Ryan Goldemon. Um, and there was also uh, Earl Pereira, uh, who was the um, bass player for Live Mouth Nation, um, was one of the mentors there. So I got to hang out with him um, for an entire week, uh, which was awesome. Totally. Cool. Um, yeah. yeah, I definitely remember. I'm from Prince George as well, Matt and I grew up together. Been to the generator a few times. Spent a week there one night, as uh, some people might say. I see Mark's <laughs> commenting. That's not what we called it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but definitely lots of good times. I saw lots of music. And man, I saw you play there a lot, Matt, and uh, some of the best memories. Really what got me into live music. Um, yeah. yeah. That, the, the Molson House Party was, was a big one. I think that was the, the um, definitely one of the biggest shows I've ever played. Um, cool. But uh, yeah, I mean, I man, I, I had such a good childhood and I really, um, I have no um, negative things to say about growing up in Prince George. I, I really, really did enjoy it um, and enjoyed the music scene. And um, yeah, I need to go back and visit. <laughs> Perfect. Me too. Well, cheers to that. And uh, yeah. let's hear you play another one. But everybody raise your glass to wherever you're from. Cheers. Maybe Prince George. We do have a guest here from Hawaii, which is actually really freaking cool. Um, <laughs> Katrina's on, I believe. And, yeah. And uh, let's let's hear another song, man. Okay. Um, so um, I... Uh, um, <laughs> Sorry, for those of you don't know, that don't know, my wife is sitting cross-legged on the floor right next to me and uh, commentating. And, um, <laughs> you might hear her chatting. Um, no, so I, uh, um, as, as we've said, I, I have done some touring uh, in the past. Um, was really lucky to uh, go to Germany uh, for a tour. Wow. And um, I... It, it, it was a, a wonderful experience, but it was also a, a terrible experience. Um, I think that the other guys had already been there before. It was my first time oh. out in Canada. So for me, it was a really exciting thing. Um, they didn't really care much about it other than let's just, you know, get through these shows kind of thing. So uh, it was it was tough for me. Um, and uh, anyways, I, I came home and I wrote this song um, and it's just kind of about uh, you know, touring. I think the other thing too is like obviously in Germany trying to connect uh, to your home life uh, with the time change was, was quite difficult as well. So um, anyways, uh, this is simply called the touring song. And on another Matt Robinson original, here we go.
could have been the drives that took too long, traffic stops and autobahns, or it could be a lack of sleep. And I could use the night off from this voice and this call for get my rest next week. And I don't know what I need more, my own bed or this new floor, I just can't fall. You did not write that song. <laughs> I did. That's so beautiful. Your talent yes, is shining, my friend. That's so awesome. Thank <laughs> you. I like it a lot. We're we're uh, we're totally enjoying ourselves. Uh, sad to say, we're getting close to the end here. Uh, how are you feeling? Um, I'm I'm making it. I'm making it. <laughs> I, uh, more than making it. You know, it's it's uh. I never, I never got hit really hard with COVID, um, which, which I'm, I'm very fortunate about. But man, like just the, the tiredness is, uh, it's yeah. crazy. How, I mean, it, it can affect everybody um, so differently, um, you know. But um, well, we're certainly yeah. grateful for you toughing it out tonight and putting on a show for us. Um, I guess we got probably one more song. Um, sure if I remember, and also just giving you the benefit of, of uh, a little bit of rest because you've been toughing it out for us here. Um, <laughs> maybe before, like, we're going to let you play one more song, of course. What about, like, people want to find you? Where can we find you? What, what if people want to get a hold of you? you? You talked about having these mentors before yeah. with, with the guys from Wild Bill Mason and Mother Mother, but you're... You've, yeah. you've got so much experience, so much talent. You could be a mentor to people. Um, I know you've you've told me a lot of really interesting, amazing things about the industry and your career. How do if someone wants to meet you or or work with you or get some help from you? How do they how do they get a hold of you? Sure. Yeah. Um, they can email me. Um, I have uh, it's music music Matthew Robinson at gmail dot com. Um, probably the best way. I don't I don't have a website. I don't. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, I've been out of the game for a while. Um, and um, those are all things that, that kind of cost money and, and, you know, eat away at your finances. So I, I thought to myself, if I'm not, um, if I'm not going to be playing full time uh, for, for a time, then, then I would kind of get rid of those for, for a little while. So I'm just, um, I'm really happy to that you reached out and um, that we're doing this. I think for me, it's just um, kind of a uh, kind of reaffirms, you know, how much I, I, I do love doing this. And 
Um, you know, I, I don't I don't know what my plans are. I don't have any set goals or, uh, you know, hopefully when this whole thing kind of blows over or, or if we find some semblance of normal, um, you know, I can get back to, to playing, playing live again. And, um, absolutely. Yeah. We'll kind of, kind of take it as it comes, you know, I, I just, I, I just hope that everybody's doing well and, and everybody's kind of taking care of themselves and their, and their own. Um, and knowing that, that there are so many people out there that are going through the same thing, you know, cause I think that's a big, um, a big thing that's missed is just the mental health side of, of, of this and, and the isolation. Um, it really, really can affect, um, people and yeah, just reach out to, you know, reach out to your friends. If you know, if somebody's struggling, give them a call. Absolutely. Yeah, well put, man. Uh, you know, and one of the beautiful things about music is it can help with those those pains and those those troubling times. And I'm sure both as a player, but for me sitting here as someone that gets to host uh, and and just enjoy being in the audience as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, so grateful that you came and played with us and and for uh, that we were able to put something together that got you back in the game of live music. We're we're certainly all about creating opportunities for people and really this is what it's all about um so happy that it worked yeah one we'll, thing sorry go, go ahead. ahead man no uh, go i was just gonna say we'll do it again we'll do it again and yeah that's what it sounds like if you don't got any other plans we're locking you down ne we'll do next time i stream. next time i won't get covid the week before <laughs> <laughs> yeah knock on wood yeah. um well, thank you so much. We're let's do one more song. I do want to tell everybody we're gonna try and do something uh, a little bit new after the show. So I'm gonna put in a Zoom link into the comments, and if you copy that, save it to your notes um, because it will disappear when the show's gone. So copy it, but we can get together in a Zoom after and just hang out, sort of like a little after party with Matt and I. Uh, you're invited. We'll have a, a chit chat and we'll see how long it goes, but we'd love to just, just hang out and hear everybody talk. So um, one more song from Matt, what do you got for us? And uh, when we're done, I'll just close things off. So let us know what you got. Okay. Um, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to try a new song. Yes. Um, I, I literally uh, just finished this today. So, uh, you know, be gentle. Are you kidding? Uh, so this is kind of um, uh, hearkening back to um, Claire and I's first home we purchased together. Um, it was a, a 700 square foot house. Um, and, you know, we, we did we did all the work. Um, I think we took nine truckloads of garbage out of the backyard because um, it was a it was a rental property that the the owners just decided to wash their hands of. Um, so, anyways, it was there was a lot <laughs> a lot wrong with this house, um, but we we absolutely made it our home, um, and uh, yeah, this is kind of just about uh, just really struggling to know. Uh, I guess what the next step is um, and you know again like coming from a musician standpoint um, it's it, man it's really hard to make ends meet um, when you're playing music full time um, so yeah anyways I'm gonna do my darndest um, well I for one am excited a uh, brand new song never before heard I love it thanks it's for, called, uh, it's thanks called for Good Situations Good Situations alright
Thank you. I got a lot of comments in here, but can't believe that you just uh, wrote that song today, man. Good job. <laughs> yeah, well, not, not today, but finished it today. Finished it today, yeah. So cool. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think with songwriting, you know, you, you get a, uh, the lay of the land for a song, and, and then, you know, probably if that were to go into the studio, things would change, but... Yeah. We got Mark Robinson Encore, Ben Ha Encore. I don't know if you got anything uh, in the back pocket, but uh, also um, everybody, I, I put the Zoom link into the chat. You can uh, hold down on it and copy it, copy it to your notes for when we leave. Let's see if we can get in and just hang out together. Um, yeah, other than that, thanks so much, Matt. Do you do you got something else for us? Are we going to do an Encore sure. or what? I am. Um... <laughs> I uh, obviously there's there's so many people that I that I see on here that I know, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna send this one out to uh, Lauren and and uh, Jordan Long. Good for you. Okay, well this one. Uh, I know to we Lauren I know we got Jordan. Valentine's coming up, and this is kind of a this is a this is a this is a, this is a cover tune.
lost in the light I pray for the night To take me To take you to After so many words Still nothing's heard I don't know What we should do So if someone could see me now Let them see you Thrill. We just stood still. You let me hold your hand till I had my fill. Even counting sheep don't help me sleep. I just toss and turn right there beside you. So if someone could help me now, let them help you. song man well done well played i love Thank that you. song i've got a good memory of that song from edmonton folk fest actually yeah that was a good one Bahamas. all right well everybody a round of applause for matt thank you for playing for us uh putting on a great show great original music i can't believe that we just heard something that was brand new a couple of good covers so cheers to you man yeah uh, thank you for, for coming doing back this, yeah, well, I appreciate so much you doing this. I, I just thought, you know, like if I'm going to, if I was going to do this, it had to be you to, to host it because <laughs> we've been, you know, chatting back and forth. So, um, well, absolutely. And yeah. I got to thank you for all the, the phone calls and advice over the last year trying to just put something together that would work for, for musicians. So thanks a lot. Yeah, and absolutely. we'll, we'll end it here, but we'll do it again. This is just the beginning and hopefully we'll see some of you on zoom. I, I really hope that I typed the link in properly or else it'll look just be Matt and I. <laughs> and can you text me that link? Absolutely. Cool. All right, everyone. Thanks. Cheers. Have a great night. Okay.